Hi everyone, Moo here with another gameplay video for you guys. Thank you so much for your suggestions regarding the layout. As you can see, I have taken them seriously and have revised the layout as a result. And actually I am still on vacation, but I did want to make those changes right away. And admittedly so, I kind of ran out of scheduled videos, so I wanted to get something going. I do not want to upset the Google overlords. No, absolutely not. And uh, on that note, Courtney has also asked me to do a gameplay video on Jesse and Buzz. Now we're going to do Jesse's in just a minute, but Buzz is going to have to wait until I'm back to my regular programming, my regular scheduling, uh, which is going to be closer to the end of this week. And speaking of which, as a result, there might be a couple vlogs coming your way from Van Mover. And also there will be a live stream happening at the end of the week because I do want to wrap up the Japanese event and get Bat Hat Mini maxed out without having to spend skill tickets as I do want to save those for the time when Jedi Luke will appear once more. Anyways, here we go, uh, Jesse. Now, Jesse has a couple of major weaknesses, but we can work around them and still pull out quite a bit of coin using her. So what are her major weaknesses? One, her skill needs to charge up instead of instantly detonating the number of Tsum Tsum that it generally clears, which is about low 30s. And the second is, well, actually this is still part of the first, the clock still keeps ticking down while you're charging her skill. So you're losing time, it makes it a little bit inefficient, but um, the thing is, she does create a magic bubble with her skill. So generally speaking, you should be able to re-enter fever time right away anyways. Now, fever time, here's the thing. You can't wait until fever time expires before setting off her skill to clock manage her properly. You have to wait until there's a bit of a sliver left on that fever gauge and then set off her skill. That way, while her circle is expanding on the playing area, Presumably, fever time will expire at just the right time when it reaches its maximum radius and then you let go of it and you re-enter fever time right away. Or you pop the bubble and then you re-enter fever time right away. So her timing is going to be a little bit different. Now, speaking of timing, there's another little thing I've noticed about her skill. It's almost like a little delay in her animation where the, her circle reaches its maximum radius, but then it still keeps going in place. So it doesn't expand anymore. And it's about like half a second or so that it does this. So you kind of have to get used to the timing of letting it go, releasing that skill just a little bit earlier, and that way you're going to save some of the time that she is wasting off of your clock, but you're still going to get the full benefit of her maximum clearing potential. So that is essentially how Jesse is going to play out, as you will see in the gameplay video. Now, keep in mind, Jesse is one of the original Tsum Tsum in the game, so she's not going to have the same kind of power level as Jedi, Luke, Beast, Gaston, but she can still earn you quite a good number of coin, especially if you're new to the game and you've just got her and you don't have some of the more powerful ones. She will absolutely serve you well. She served me very well until I managed to get Jasmine and you know then Beast later on. So uh, very good. You can definitely expect to get 3,000, 3,500 coin with her and that is definitely a good amount for what a Tsum Tsum of Jesse's level can do. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for your likes, your subs, and your viewership. I appreciate it very, very much, and I'll see you guys next time.